Hello, I pray that your Tuesday was filled with spaces and places of joy, of peace, of happiness, that you had an opportunity to do or experience something that you said, hmm, that was good. Today, my topic is, what would happen if they could read your thoughts? What would happen if they could read your thoughts? I just got finished reading one of Terry McMillan's older books, and it's called, Who Asked You? And one of the things I really appreciated about this book is not, and I listened to it as an audio book. So not only did I get to um, hear the characters dialogue with each other, but Terry McMillan also gives you a lot of the inner dialogue, what people were actually thinking that they may or may not have actually said out loud. And it made me think about myself, particularly this morning, as I was going through my day at the pool and whatever. And as I interacted with people, I noticed there was kind of two conversations going on. One I was having out loud with people, but the other one was just different thoughts I was thinking about things I saw, observed, or whatever. And so it really makes me think about I wonder what would happen if people could actually hear what your thoughts are. Now, people don't actually get to hear my thoughts most of the time. And some of you who know me will say, girl, you say whatever you think. But no, most of the time, you don't really get to hear my thoughts because I do have a filter, believe it or not. I do understand that what I'm thinking probably should not be said out loud because it may be harmful. Someone else may not see the humor in what I'm saying. They may not have the same opinion, and it may really only matter to me, so I use a filter. Now, if you are someone who's on the autism spectrum or Asperger's spectrum, however you want to look at it, you probably do not have a filter. It is simply because you struggle with being able to um, pick up social cues. In other words, you don't have the ability necessarily to read the room very well. So this message is not necessarily for you, but you can participate if you'd like, because people don't know what your thoughts are. <clears throat> but for those of you in particular who do have the ability to, to filter your comments, for those of you who, like me, recognize that sometimes I have two dialogues going on in my head, one that people can hear and one that people can't. I would love to hear your comments about what would happen if people could actually read or hear your thoughts, the ones that you don't say out loud. And before someone says, well, that's just really mean, not all the thoughts are mean. Some of them are comical to me. Some of them are just observations. Some of them are just questions that I have. Some of them is just me being silly. You know, not every thought that runs through my head when I interact with someone is necessarily a bad thought. Sometimes it just is what it is. But I, I just think it's kind of funny. So I invite you in the comments to say, what would happen if people could actually read your thoughts. Have a wonderful day. Don't stress out about this. If you don't want to share in it, don't. It's just a little conversational point. But in any event, have a wonderful day. The book I said by Terry McMillan was really, really good. I very much enjoyed it. Love you. Bye-bye.